So account history needs to belong to an account. So we'll do account ID. And then it also needs to, um, we even though it belongs to an account, we can just style, uh, um, track the user to integer user ID. And what else do we need to track? We need to track the message of what happened. So um, we can have table string message. You know it's a history, just a log. So uh, we'll have to generate text to um, be here. All right. Um, so I think this basically it is just a log that tracks messages and uh, whatever. And then of course we um, do our usual soft deletes. Now we have this sorted. Uh, we can now go ahead and run our migration. Remember, if you just run your migration normally, it will wipe clean your whole database while creating this one. All right, so we're gonna run our migration now. PHP artisan migrate, R refresh or fresh, depending on which one works for you. Now remember that uh, we're gonna, before we finish building this app, we're gonna run migration one more time a little in the future. So don't um, type a, uh, save a lot of data into your app yet. There's one more step we have to take uh, that will uh, require uh, one more migration. So now we've run migration. If I refresh this page, is either I see an error or a logout. So it has logged me out, but um, I can't log in unless I register again, register new membership. And then I think we have to come back and fix this page. Uh, membership, email, and then we choose a password. Agree, register. It should log me on also. So I'm logged in. Now the next thing we have to do is to um, run a uh, um, Laravel generator so that it will generate um, for the two accounts and account history. What we how we can do that is to go to Laravel generator. So remember Laravel generator. Look at it. Um, it's on labs.infiom.com slash laravel generator slash docs slash 5.5. So we're going to look at um, getting started. And uh, we're basically looking for from table, input from table. You click on it, input from table. Oops, I've accidentally clicked on a number of things. A lot of things. So input from table, click on it. Beautiful. So here we are, custom table name, generate from table. So this, this is what we're looking for. So we're gonna put account and account histories there. And um, there we are, here we are, right click, paste. So now, I, I'll enter the table name. The table name is accounts that is plural then I have to come and enter the model name the model name is account what did I just do yeah scaffold account just to be sure that I didn't delete something okay scaffold space account yeah so hit enter and uh, we're done so I'm gonna do that again for account histories that's quite simple to hit the up arrow on my keyboard and um, account underscore histories. Uh, I have to expand this so you see what I'm doing fully. That's account underscore histories. But the account, the model will answer history. That is account history. That's it. Hit enter. And chill. And um, as you can see, that that's who has been sorted out. Now, um, if we come here and refresh. We'll come here and um, for refresh, we'll see, we should see the menu here. Beautiful. Now, to if we also go to the the route file, we'll see that um, it has added the route for us. If we go to routes web, um, let me drag this to this point. Look at the route file. But if you see at the bottom, you see that it has added these two links. We need to add it into auth middleware. 
so that only logged in people can see it. So I need to add it somewhere here. Paste. Beautiful. Only logged in people can see that. So if we refresh again, nothing happens because uh, we didn't spoil anything. Now what we can do again is to check the account. Um, only admin should be able to see the full account page or everybody's account. Only admin should be able to see it. So in the next video, we'll quickly add it to the admin middleware here. And then um, that's just it. All right. See you.